All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's just get right into the news. We don't want to wanna waste a lot of y'all time this morning, none of that stuff, man. We're just going to get right into it because I don't want to do what 2K has been doing with us, giving you a product that's not well thought out and um, just trying to make money. That wouldn't be fair. What I need to be doing is giving you guys concise videos, giving you the information in a uh, in a good format and just getting right to it. So we're gonna try that this morning, man. So check it out on Twitter. Y'all forget something? Oh yeah. Jim Stars! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. We gotta turn the energy up, man. But look, check it out. First tweet of the day, we got your boy McGurk, man. Hey, look, just my opinion. I don't agree with everything that he, I don't agree with everything that McGurk has here, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to get it. Um, just my opinion. 2K needs to kick people for being in the, in the idol in the park, in the neighborhood. They already do that. So I don't know what he's talking about. I, uh, my boy Bird was talking about he was doing something and got kicked for being idle. Then maybe he's saying they need to turn the idle time down. They already do that. Uh, put more people in each neighborhood. Uh, fix events, ban boosters and stuff like that. Okay, I can see that. Uh, fix the subway, won't start a game if if from the train. That's true. Illegal screens, uh, patch demigods, like and retreat, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so let's let's just look over these right quick. I should have done this the first in the first place, but all right, kick people for being idle in the neighborhood. You already get kicked, but the, the idle time is much longer than it used to be. The idle time used to be about 12 to 15 minutes. Now, I promise you, I went to the neighborhood the, the other day. I went to Walmart, shopped. I came back. This is no cap. I went to Walmart, got something for my wife. No, 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 no. I, uh, I went to Publix uh, for my wife and went and got some soup for her from from the uh from the chinese place right right by Publix. took my little boy to Publix, got all this stuff for school for his lunches and all that because we don't I, I don't he don't eat school lunch because he just doesn't want to but um and then i came back and i still wasn't kicked from the neighborhood i was standing in the same spot that i was standing in before i left so i know that they raised the idle time to at least like 30 minutes it used to be like 15 minutes or something like that and people would get kicked for being idle but that is a big problem because people do need to be kicked quicker for being idle so that other people can join. Sometimes you're trying to get your friends in, you're trying to get somebody in to play, and then you got 20 people standing on the side, not playing, not doing anything. So I definitely understand that. They already kick people for being idle, but the timer needs to go higher. But at the same time, you shouldn't, when they kick you for being idle, they don't kick you back to to like your my career, to, to something. They kick you all the way out of the game, back to the main menu. So that definitely needs to be looked at. I can agree with that. Put more people in each neighborhood. I think we're already at capacity for the neighborhood. And I think they do that because uh, they don't want people to to have the problem that we had in 18 where they had too many people in the neighborhood and then they had to dumb down the graphics and take shadows away at the bottom of people's feet and uh, and and drop the view distance and all of that stuff. I think we already have capacity for the neighborhood, but we need to make sure that each neighborhood is at capacity. My, my thing for this is there are already enough people in the neighborhood. There's about 60 to 65 people in each neighborhood. What they need to do is the neighborhood, if you're shopping, doing your uh, calisthenics to get your Gatorade, or, or stuff like that, like, bro, that needs to be a different area. That's what needs to happen. Because in 2K18, it seemed like all the courts was lit, but it was because if you were in the neighborhood, you I mean, if you were at, at the courts, you were at the courts to play. You weren't looking at the surrounding neighborhood. There was no chance that you were doing something else. You were just playing basketball. And then if you were shopping and stuff, you were in a different part. If you wanted to go to the stage and stuff, there was you at a different part. Maybe they can figure out how to fix that to where the surrounding part, they can do it visually. The surrounding part of the neighborhood is at is, is on a different server. And then when you cross that line, then you're on the same server. I don't know how they can do that, but they need to do that. Ban boosters, fix events. We've been hollering about this for forever, man. We need to do that. Fix events, ban boosters, all that stuff. But you can't ban boosters because 2K says that, that people aren't boosted. There's nobody lagging the servers out. There's nobody doing anything um, illegal because it can't be done. That's what the developers say. So, I mean, we know that's not the, 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 the lie to take the test determined. That was a lie. Uh, fix the subway. That's been like that for what, two years or something like that? Uh, since 19? You go in the subway and try to play a game, you're not going to start a game. You have to go. To, we, we had to come up with our own solution. We had to go to Annie Up or go spin the wheel and come back, and then you're good. Like, I don't understand why we always have to come up with our own solutions for issues 
that exist in the game that we did not create. But we have to come up with workarounds and solutions, just like we had to come up with a workaround and solution for the phone and all of that stuff. You know, one person look at the phone um, and, and and do all of that. Like, bro, like the, for the blue screens and stuff like that. It's, in, it's, it's insane, but yes. Uh, Demigod glitch, that goes without saying, it needs to be fixed. They're still running rampant. They're still everywhere. You never know when you're playing one unless somebody is stupid enough to come out with a shot creating uh, playmaker at the center. And we know you can't make that, so we know that you're a demigod. At that point, it's just like no freaks given. I'm just gonna do what I gotta do and fix illegal screens. Yeah, they do need to fix illegal screens. They need to call them. That's what they need to do. Because what he's saying is, let, look, look, look. He actually clarified down here, he said, please look at illegal screens, get called way too often, and make centers, and, and, and make centers do them when properly standing still holding the circle. What? It gets called way too often. No, illegal screens need to be called more because if you behind the back this way and then I get around that and then you turn and then I get screened immediately after that, that's an illegal screen you haven't been set for a second. They need to turn up the timer on the illegal screen so when you set the screen, you have to be there for a second and then it won't be illegal. Yes, they need to fix illegal screens, but they need to call the illegal screens. I do not agree with that at all. Do y'all agree? Because, uh, or, or if you're a center and you think they get called way too often, I, I think they don't get called enough. I don't think people, this, this is the problem that I feel like goes on with the community. You don't know the rules of basketball, really, so you don't know what an illegal screen is. An illegal screen is one of those Draymond screens where he comes and sets a, a literal block on you, like, like most centers do. Most centers in this game set a screen and then they move into position. They don't move into position and then set the screen. They, they move into position after they press circle or B or what have you. So I don't agree with that at all. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But anyway, uh, LD2K skipped right over McGregor just said, hi, Sonny. The next patch is approaching. The team is focused on making the game better. Thanks for your feedback. I hope they are focused on making the, making the game better because the game can't get much worse, my guy. It's got to be, we, we, we've got to fix this game and we got to get to a point of playability so that it can be sustainable and we can play this thing for the rest of the year, man. I'm not saying that it's our right to, to be able to create content and stuff like that, but I will tell you this. Us creating this content is earned media, like I said yesterday. It's not their right to earn media, but they do want that earned media. And if we if we are making videos on the game, that's free advertising for them. That's exactly what earned media is. They definitely want that. And so when more people stop playing the game, the thing that happens is this. This is why it, it can never really work the way in our favor. Because when somebody stops putting out videos, like let's say the big YouTubers stop putting out videos, smaller YouTubers are gonna start putting out videos. And what will inevitably happen is, a smaller YouTuber will rise to the top and they will start getting the same amount of earned media from the smaller YouTubers as they did from the big YouTubers because everybody's trying to come up. The big YouTubers are already there. They can put out one video a week, two videos a week, and, and, and eat just fine. We can't do that. We have to put out video after video after video, so it's gonna continue to be earned media. And I'm not gonna stop doing videos because I'm gonna be real with you. I get paid. I'm not gonna hurt my pockets. Because of that, I've done that before. I played Modern Warfare 2, game was great. My channel blew up. And then I didn't like Modern Warfare 3, so I didn't play the game. I didn't like the next one. I, I, I like Black Ops, so I played that one and posted, posted videos on that. Channel started growing again. The next one came out. Uh, I think it was Infinite Warfare, something like that. Ghost, I don't know. Whatever the lineage was, when I didn't like a game, I wouldn't put out videos on it, and my channel inevitably suffered while I watched other people's channels grow. I'm not doing that anymore. All that doing the right thing, it just doesn't exist in YouTube when you're trying to grow. You gotta you gotta be somewhat shady. It just is what it is, but I'm not gonna give y'all no bad information or none of that stuff right there. I don't wanna grow that bad, but y'all understand what I'm trying to say. You gotta do some of the stuff that you really don't wanna do in order to get some of the stuff that you want, especially when you're on YouTube because if you don't, somebody else is definitely going to do it. And y'all already see that. People put up videos on games that was on the 2Ks that was bad. They blew up. It is what it is. And now they not working the nine to five and I am. Anyway, on to the next thing. Hey, check this out from Reddit. <laughs> this guy, he put this video up, man. And he says, let me see if we can get it into, into some type of position for you. Uh, but uh, he says, all right, that's good enough. I was playing, that's good enough cap, thanks. Uh, he says, I was playing 2K when this happened while I was in my career with the Sixers. Check it out. Boom. And then everybody just goes. 
he's not talking in the video or anything like that. But look, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that. Bro, why is your feet in my video? Oh, why the hell? Get your foot out my video. Ah! Anyway, if, thing, if we're that deep into this game and things like that are still happening, I don't even know if I'm asleep tonight, man. I think I threw up in my mouth a little bit. Anyway, if we're that deep in this game and things like that are still happening in a game mode that's not competitive and it's not... Bro, this just makes me wonder, what would have happened to games like this back in the day when there were no such thing as patches? We're not that far along from people had, from everybody having high-speed internet and there were no patches. What on earth would we have done then? Like, these games were released and they were in broken condition. Nobody was talking about it. We couldn't get them fixed. And now, they literally release the games and we're beta testers this is not cool man we have to get the game right man let's mobilize on twitter we got to spam well maybe not ld2k but we got to spam running baluba and all these guys uh chris man all bro we have to fix the game get hashtag fix 2k trending again bro the game has to be fixed it's a good game it is a really good game it's just like call of duty at the core it is a very sound game it's a good game a lot of people that can't make it no more in the game or they were 2k19 made look you're mad because you can't cheese anymore. And this game does take more IQ than, two, than previous 2Ks. That's just a fact. You have to learn how to play around the, the deficiencies of your player while playing to the strengths of your player. But a lot of people don't even know what deficiencies, deficiencies are or strength. They think the player should be able to do anything. So they make an offensive threat and then when they can't play defense, they get mad. Now, I'm not going to get mad at that because we want to make superstars. That's what everybody wants to make. But you got to realize everybody in the league is not a superstar. You got a lot of role players. And if I was in the league, I wouldn't even be a role player. I'd probably be a bus boy, a bench boy, a towel boy, something like that. Let's be an extremely tall towel boy. But it is what it is. Uh, on to our last little bit of news for the day, man. Your boy Duke Dennis has now shown us, uh, given us a simulator of uh, every, every, uh, what, what does he say? What does he call this? What he call it, man? This, this joint was hilarious. Uh, every guard in 2K ever. And uh, this is pretty much what it is. Okay, uh, uh, Hezzy behind the back with the backpack on. Oh, Hezzy behind the back. Okay, okay, Hezzy behind the back, double behind the back to the rim, spinning lay, lay, for lay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Hezzy behind the back. Is this it? Are y'all, uh, do y'all agree with this? Do y'all think this is what it is? The only thing, the only issue that I have with this whole thing is, we're gonna let it play through one more time. The only issue that I have with this whole thing is, there's not a center holding enough screens. It ain't enough screens in this, Duke. This is not an accurate depiction of what actually goes on in 2K. We need more screens. We need more everything, man. Hey, look, man. He's right, though. That's about it. That's about what the average game of 2K has come down to today. It's guard-on-guard guard action. I ain't got no problem with the guard-on-guard guard action, but it's guard-on-guard guard action with, with um, you know, with... Uh, with screens, but he didn't have enough screens in that video for that to be accurate, for, for that accurately to be NBA 2K20. Uh, but anyway, uh, y'all let me know. Like, I feel like the game is good. I can't play the game right now because my controller is broken. Bro, I bought these controllers off of Amazon. The controller is a fantastic controller. Gets here the next day. Awesome controller. I got two of them right. The problem with these controllers is after about a month, this, this left stick, it starts drifting is you get the drift stick. I done tried everything. I tried to take it apart. I tried to do all the little stuff that they tell you to do to try to fix it, man. Um, so I'm just going to go back to old trusty Chico Dusty. I'm going to go back to this one. Only problem with these controllers is they last forever, but the doggone tabs come off. Like, they the the, um, the joints wear out after like two months. The, the little uh, cushioning over here, man. And I'm trying to find some jail tabs. Y'all know where I can get some replacement jail tabs from? Let me know. I gotta get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. God speak. Do you fancy a game of 2K today, bruv? Hmm? 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 You fancy a game? Hmm? Hmm? I'm out, man. <laughs>